<clears throat> no sound? It's playing just fine on my end. Stop audio. Right. No, why it's not because um, it's unmuted. Both are unmuted. <laughs> oh hey, hey hey I think I got it. It was set to um it was set to speakers. That might have been from when I uh did the karaoke stream, but that wouldn't make sense cuz I had stuff I don't know. I don't know. Point is, we fixed it just in time. <laughs> so I'm not going to complain. Every day is a learning day when it, <laughs> when it comes to streaming. But anyway, hi! Welcome, Ty. Glad you could make it. Gonna be playing some more Delta Rune today. There's a reason why I try to start uh, the actual, like, you know, stuff maybe about 10 minutes early if I can. So I can, uh, you know, deal with any troubleshooting stuff as it comes. Because there's certain stuff that I can and cannot hear on my end, but there's stuff that only you can hear on your end. <laughs> about time to start I'm like like if you could see me I'd like you know like a very like less than a foot away from the screen looking at the time <laughs> 5 30 let's go yeah, my apologies if I blasted out your ears with that I did not mean to I also had to put away Christmas if you hadn't noticed Christmas has say like Christmas has gone I needed to move stitches down a little bit. Well, I'll have to fix her a little bit later. That's okay. What? Don't you start with me, sir. Well, let's see. Delta Rune, Delta Rune, Delta Rune. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> there we 
There we go. Now I can actually see the chat. Awesome. Okay. I'm so used to using the WASD keys now because I'm so used to because uh, I've been playing some other games that require the WASD. So I immediately try to use it with this game and forget that I'm supposed to use the arrow keys to move on this one. The last time we uh, bought uh, a little bit of everything and they made off with our money, which they promptly used to um, buy something else. Because, you know, Dylan's got a snack, right? Oh, hey! Oh, come on! Hello! Oh, is it? Also... Let me see. Is it echoing? Okay, now I have that muted. Yes, I know who Gaster is, and it's rude to talk about people who are listening. Ugh, okay, I haven't I haven't perfected my um uh what's the word? I haven't perfected my wingdings well enough to be able to just read it. I'm still working on that. Let's see. Oh no, that's at 25. I don't know what to do for any um, echoing. <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Okay, I probably deserve that, not gonna lie. That took me far too long that I wanted to admit. Okay, back to the actual game. King came along, I used to eat the leaves from this tree. Now I still do that. 
Such is the way of the worm. Well, you have fun with that. You look like Mitora Shidango. <laughs> we have money! Money, 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 money. Yeah, I was like, you look like a dongo. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to touch fate on that one. me rows and rows of woes and woes if only a hero would help uh, uh, lancer is everything all right oh i'm not lancer i'm just a sweet little boy why does a sweet little boy have a mustache as a disguise was it was it x maybe i was pressing the wrong button <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out later. <laughs> that is a very fantastic mustache. So what kind of help do you need? See, I have this evil plan that I need to make. And what does a sweet boy need with an evil plan? To impress his cool friend Susie! for friendship well then we'll gladly help what shall we do it's all on the paper you delicious little apple <laughs> just fill it with the most evil thing you can imagine ho 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 let the clown generated content begin create a machine to thrash your own butt presented by Lancer Industries which was made up right now Laser. Oh, okay. An enchanting gun with an air of mysticism. Wait, can I go back? Yes, I can. So, okay. So I can choose what the head is. Flame. It's burning with desire. Sure to make you flush. A duck. Garbage. You're going to lose points. <laughs> Let's have fun with it. Plane, a streamlined chassis for elegant thrashing. Wheel, a fast chases for tomboyish thrashing. A chases for gun lovers. Chassis, sorry. <laughs> the cannon is highly kissable. Just looking at this is making you lose points. <laughs> I kind of want to do the duck. <laughs> But it's to impress Susie. Guns. <laughs> Let's go for the chassis tank. And I can I can choose what the color is. It's a rainbow. Just make it all duck. That's what I figured you're supposed to do. But. going to lose points. Maybe. I 
and make a blue duck. Your machine sucks. Is that okay? Wow, looks nasty. Are you sure you weren't evil? Uh, no, I suppose we just have a knack for it. Haha, <laughs> trick you idiots. Never do someone so never do something that someone else can do for you. <laughs> it's just a duck. Guys, this evil plan sucks. Am I at fault in any way? Nah, you're good. Oh ho, the bad guys get off scot-free, again! Thrash you later, you fools! Uh, okay. Uh, it's nice Susie finally found a place she fits in. <laughs> She's getting along with Lancer, too. Not his best choice. Ah! Ouch! Ooh, this isn't going to work well. Dig Nabbit! Ugh! Revolve around the center and look carefully. The darker it gets, the more you can see. So you are right, um... in the tree. Heck yeah! Good, good. Hello? Somehow Prince Lancer's made real friends with a lightener. Somebody should tell the king immediately. And this definitely isn't going to be me. What breaks the news is gonna get wrecked. Hey guys, what's up? Ugh, why does the king make us take care of his son? He's not a bad kid, but he's so weird. It's so... obligatory. No wonder nobody really likes him. Lightners! This girl's with you, right? She's forcing me to fan her. Please get her under control. Nah, they're my enemies, actually. We split up because I was too evil for them. Uh huh? Help! Help me! I don't want a fan forever! <laughs> How's that thrash machine we designed going? The what machine? The machine? We had a whole sequence about it? Oh, that. Yeah, we'll make it in the last minute. You two should really start working on it earlier. What's with the lecture? Don't come here for a second, Dad. <laughs> yeah, you tell him. So, er, ready to be a good guy again, Susie? Nah, I gotta say, being a bad guy is pretty sweet. Not only is it way more fun than being good, but my teammate's proud of what I do. Earlier, Susie ate a pinecone off the floor. It gave her a terrible stomach ache, but it was very brave and cool. See? Finally, some respect. By the way, be wary of yourselves of the forest maze. You'll probably get completely lost. Without someone who knows the way through, that is. Yeah, I know the forest like the back of my head. Okay. It went this way. So 
which way are we going next? We were following you. Oh. Why? I have no idea where I'm going. Chris, let's just go wherever Lancer doesn't go. Sure. Where's Lancer? Uh, well, he wasn't going the right way, so... You let him wander off by himself? You know he's bad at mazes, right? He's probably lost and confused right now. Ho ho ho! I am lost and confused! Sorry, Susie. We didn't mean to make you worry about him. Huh? Look, I'm not, uh, worried about him. Bad guys gotta look out for each other is all. Anyway, get out of my way. I'm gonna go find him. Seems she doesn't know the white way either, Chris. <laughs> They're both lost. Still trying to save Lancer from being lost? No way, he can save his own dang self. But, uh, tell me if you see him. Chris, let's just go where Susie and Lancer don't go. We can figure out how to help them after we get through. I don't really see exactly where they went, though. Oh, man. I have to do this all over again. This way. Ugh, these things. <laughs> and through the middle. Huzzah! Nice and easy. <laughs> it's the duck! <laughs> Chris, isn't that the machine we designed? Alright, this will be tough, but let's try our best. It's a duck. Oh, that's not good, actually. Oh, if you think that's bad, just wait and see what happens when it starts. Hello, Leonard. Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you could make it. We built this cool butt duck as our destroying machine. <laughs> I'm doing well. Today was my first day back at, at work since the holiday, so. Hello, Lettuce. Welcome, welcome, and Happy New Year to you too, Leonard. <laughs> Your design sucks, so we blew it up. <laughs> ah, I see. So, now what's your plan going to be? Turns out we didn't need a plan, just a rule. Anyone that gets in our way 
gets crushed into dust. But Susie, you need us to return home. Doesn't crushing us seem a little counterproductive? Nah, see, that's where you're wrong. You see, I know I can't get back without you guys. Being a <laughs> good guy really isn't my style. Okay, Leonard, you, you do you, man. It's all right. Um, I do upload VODs later. I know they're not nearly as fun because you can't really, you know, say anything in the moment. But we, I still appreciate that you came by and said hello. So I thought of a little way we can just settle this. If you can beat me, I'll go back to being a good guy. But if you lose, you guys will have to become bad guys with us. And do whatever we say. Oh, well, that is expensive in Germany. I can only guess. Like, I have, like, a bundle for my phone. Um, which is, like, uh, about, you know, 40 bucks a month in American dollars. So. It's, uh, it's decent. Whoa, 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 our wish is your command. So what do you say? Eh, don't bother answering. We're just gonna thrash you anyway, so... See ya. Anything? Right, Susie falls asleep. Oh, what a beautiful song. Oof. Um... Anything. You two look like a really great team. I'm proud. Two gigs is around 7 euros in Germany. If all in Switzerland, 7 euros can buy you 20 gigs. Dang! That is a big... Wow. Susie, I was like, I was like, isn't Susie asleep right now? Right, I would need, um... I can't use pacify. Really. Uh, in that case... Toby Fox, the creator of both Undertale and Delta Room? Enter became more convinced. It's working! Stop fighting, then I could, um, I could braid your hair. Answer became almost fully convinced. Uh oh.
what's wrong, dude. I accidentally started liking the enemies. Now seeing them just makes me feel round and soft. Bad atmosphere for battle, though. Well, if you don't want to fight, there's no point, I guess. Battle's over. Well, you didn't beat us because you, uh... Kind of cheated by uh, ganging up on Lancer with uh, kindness. But if I have to, I guess I'll go back to your side. But don't expect me to do anything but fight. Well, we're happy to have you back, Susie. Yeah, yeah, let's just hurry up and go home. Um, Susie? Does this mean we aren't a team anymore? Huh? I, I mean, uh, of course we're still a team. You can um, be part of the CIS squad. Wow, me? In the CIS squad? Wait, if I hang out with the good guys, then can we still have monogram shark jackets? Yeah, Rosalie is like, Ralsei will make them. Huh? Okay, sure. <laughs> Lancer joins the team. Okay, Leonard. <laughs> and I totally understand. You have a good night. Make sure you sleep nice and well. And I'll hopefully see you another time. Still behind. Where, um, you coming, dude? You can follow behind us, you know. Oh, okay. It's a lone dorm frame, but for some reason, you can't see through it. It's just standing there. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, this is so cool. I've never been on such a big team before. Don't you have a legion of various guys? Yeah, but my dad forced them to listen to me. But they don't actually like me very much. Huh, well, you don't need those clowns anymore. Just chill with us. Aye, aye. I was walking through the park one day In the very merry month of May Man, I'm still hungry It's like nothing I eat here matters Just earn more money for the bake sale, I guess I was thinking of baking a cake later Hmm, what's the catch? You have to make stopping- <laughs> You have to stop making fun of me for one Pass Yeah, I saw that one coming. Look, Susie, a candy tree! Heck yeah! Dang, last piece is too high to reach. Worry not, Susie. I have a special transformation for times like this. Really? Watch and learn, team! Look! Stool form! All you did was put your hands on the ground. Hey, don't act so jealous. <laughs> Got it. Ooh, tell me what it tastes like. Huh? You haven't had it before? Oh, I mean, I've always wondered what it's like. But I'm not allowed to pick it for myself. Oh, you tell me what it tastes like. You're giving it to me? I thought you were hungry. I, uh, changed my mind. Oh, Candy joins the team! Alright, already! <laughs> so, what's it taste like? Yum, 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 it tastes like friendship. What's that taste like? <laughs> like my teeth are disintegrating. 
<laughs> that's that's actually bad. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for us sharing. You're a good friend. Well, uh, you too, I guess. Just walking along with you guys feels nice. Like I'm doing something important. That's because you're alongside the Lightners, Lancer. Our purpose, Darkner's purpose, is to assist them. The only way we can truly feel fulfilled. Really? But my dad hates Lightners. He wants to... Does your dad seem happy? I'm not sure. Hey, uh, let's ditch the weird purpose talk. I'm probably just glad you ate a weird berry. Yeah, I'm still a boost from the juiced. I mean, look, I'm not from here and hanging out like this. I also feel kinda, uh, you know, happy. Psh, nah. It's okay, Susie. We understand. Look, everyone, we can see the castle. Yes, that's where I live. Me and, uh, my... my dad. What's that black thing emerging from the top? That's the fountain, Susie. If we can get there, you and Chris will finally be able to go home. Jeez, took long enough. Chris, Lancer, let's go. sure there isn't another way home? The mountain is being guarded right now. If you try to go there, um, you might get hurt and... But, come on, Lancer. No one's gonna beat a team like us. If anyone gets in our way, we all, all we gotta do is crush them. But, what if you had to fight? Everybody bleeds, right? Don't worry about it. Whoever it is, they'll be cold on the ground before you can blink. But Susie... What? I think... I think I need to go. Huh? When are you gonna be back? Never. Hey, wait a second! Lancer! Why are you acting so weird? Susie, wait! I'm just gonna follow at a nice leisurely pace. Ah. Lighters are approaching the castle. Get them! Ah, snap. Ugh. I can't believe I managed to dodge that. Snap. Wait! <gasps> Heard me. <laughs> you poor lightners. We were told to keep you in prison for eternity. Too bad. Would have loved to see you guys punished. <laughs> Ow. Well, this is a fine how you do, isn't it, Chris? Prison for eternity. That sounds like it might take a while. And Susie! Where's Susie? We have to find her, Chris, before she gets hurt. Or, um, hurt someone else. Maybe there's something we can escape with in here. Your shackles seem oddly fashionable. Take them? Sure. 
There's a crack in the wall. What could be inside? It's more wall. Life cannot exist without consuming. Even the moss drinks water. Perpetuate the cycle of existence. You ate the moss. Tasteless. Mossy. Your HP was mossed out. <laughs> it's a metal door. You rattle the bars. It's no use. So, Chris, what'd you find? It's all that green stuff around your mouth. Two minutes of jail and you've already resorted to eating moss. Um, you're a real go-getter, Chris. You couldn't find anything. Well, Chris, let's just not hood. Let's not just give up hope. But um, if we don't make it for some reason, then I just wanted to say um, I I'm glad I was able to meet. Hey, idiots! Can you shut up? I'm trying to concentrate. Susie, where are you? I don't know. Prison. Seriously though, I'm out of my cell. My sweet talked the warden into giving me the keys. Susie, really? How? I uh, invited him to visit the trash can. Anyway, now that there's a puzzle in the way. Okay, solve it, Susie. I um don't do puzzles. Hey, how about we just sit tight and wait for Lancer? He lives in the castle. He's bound to come save us. Why don't Chris and I just help you solve the puzzle? Look, I don't need your help. But, uh, if you said what to do, out loud, you know, I wouldn't stop you. Chris, tell Susie what to do. Okay. It's like it reset. Okay. Spade. Diamond. Swap. Not a spade. Yes, we did it! Great, now come and free us! Alright, alright. Thanks for helping her, Chris. She appreciates it. Chris, are you worried about Susie? She'll be fine. Well, regardless of how you feel, I don't think it would hurt to take a moment. Close your eyes and think about what she's doing now. Alright, out of the cell. Where to next? Huh? Chris? Did you say something back there? I don't know them anymore. I'll just go this way. Well, that's a dead end. That's Lancer's voice. Dang, not another one of these. Maybe I should go back and ask Chris. Make sure they... Lancer. I'll just do it myself. Understand they have to stay in their cells. The liners can't be allowed to escape. Especially the purple one. Lancer? Susie! What are you doing here? Answer, Chris and Ralsei are still locked up. I... I know. I... I was the one who told my troops to put you down here. To, to keep you down here. Forever. Lancer, you, you, you wanted to get rid of us? I thought we were a team. I, I can explain, Susie. Nah, that's fine. It's fine, actually. 
You don't have to say anything. I get it. I get it, you know? Why would anyone really want to be my friend anyway? Susie, that's not... Shut up. But... Shut up. Oh, snap. That's some psycho music going on. Get out of my way. Did you hear me? Get out of my way. No. Do you not hear me? Man, I tried to warn you. So don't expect me to feel guilty. When they have to clean you off the floor. Hey, wanna see what happens to traitors? They get crushed. so much to die. Susie? You missed. I don't want to kill you, man. Just move. Please. But Susie, if I let you guys go, then you and my dad will fight, and... And... We'll kill each other. At least if you stay here, neither of you will get hurt. Then I... I... I won't kill him. I promise. In him, we'll just... Um... Talk it out. Peaceful style, you know? I... I don't think my dad would like that. Hey, Lancer, come on. We're a team, right? Nothing can stop us, fighting or not, alright? Yeah! Yeah, you're right! We might as well try. I can help, too. I'll go talk to my dad. Ripen him up. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. We'll head over right now. Susie? Yeah? Are... Are we still friends? Huh? Of course! I mean, if you want to be. Phew! See ya! How am I going to get past his dad like that? Come on, I'll figure something out. Um, Susie, think you're forgetting something. So that's why, okay, Chris? Okay. <laughs> I was like, Susie? Yeah. Hey. Susie, you came to save us. I knew you had the heart of a hero, Susie. Yeah, yeah, don't push your luck. And off we go. What's 
this way. <gasps> oh no. Can we help these guys? Oh whoa, we are the three former kings. We beg you, free us. Once all four of us ruled together, but when the night arrived, everything changed. Oh, my diamonds, my jewels. You must tell me if they're all right. Oh. So how do I free you guys? I was arrested for making a puzzle without a license. I'll never make another word search. Promise. Since I didn't want to fight you guys, I got locked up. How can I? You guys seem way nicer than the king. Us animals used to be alone in these cages. Now everyone's here. So many new people. Wish we could go back to the good old days. It's just us in these filthy cages. It's tough being the fourth cage. I'm Golden Sam. Are you enjoying the show? Oh, oh, I'm just the cage. No one talks to me. How do I free you guys? What, you say your world is in danger? Well, that's a shame, isn't it? let them out? Maybe not. Rest for making puzzle without a license. Now I could go back behind here, but I don't think that really helps. Sound of various animals tumbling around. got arrested. I'm just a pair of eyes. So what's the world coming to? Thanks for inviting me. This trash can's really great. I apologize for the inconvenience earlier. I want to invite my friends into this trash can too. Well. Nothing in there. That's where we were. More water. I thought that there was a way to free the people over here, but I guess not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, 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 I heard. Off we go, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, this lift should take us out of here. Now, it might take a while, so... Get comfy, everyone. Hey, Ralsei. I know Lancer's dad, the king. Yes? When we met Hezzy, when we meet him... I think we'll have to hurt him. Susie? I mean, I could easily smash him, but... You guys, I know that's not really your thing. You're more about, uh, groveling like total losers. Now, I was thinking, maybe, I could do that too. Susie! You mean you want to try acting? Uh, well, Susie, we'd be happy if you acted with us. And don't worry, we'll be there to help you. You won't have to figure it out by yourself. Sure. 
All right. Hey, Ralsei. Susie? Are you still gonna make those uh, cakes? Well, you stop making fun of me? Well, if I have to, I guess. And I'll make you as many as you like, all right? Yeah, like you can make that many, dude. Well, this is our stop. Hey, Chris, wait a sec. You know, I'm starting to realize it'd be easier for us to get out of here. We all, uh, get along a little more. So next time we fight an enemy, you tell me what to do, I'll listen to you. But, you know, don't tell me anything stupid, or I'll go back to smashing heads, alright? Fair enough. Chris, I'm counting on you, okay? Susie joined the party for real. Elevator to prison, formerly known as elevator to basement, which just happened to have a lot of cages. What? <laughs> I got stuck on the edge. Alright, I'll phase him. Rudin Rangers have come sparkling into view. say about someone trying to kill us. Aw, oh, Susie, if you're stuck, why not try saying something you wish someone say would you, wouldn't say to you? You are unbanned from free hand sandwich day. I love the fact that this music reminds me so much of like the really old um, RPGs that I used to play. Rudin's room. Yes, that's a door. Hello. We sold all of our beds to replace them with treasure. My back hurts, but my life has never been better. Hey, it's you! You're that peaceful lightener! Oh, you even tamed the beast that was tormenting us! Beast? What beast? Oh, you even taught the beast to talk! <laughs> Here, have a Choco Diamond! You got a Choco Diamond. It's like the family photograph. Normal everyday riches acquired from a legitimate source. Say so. Uh, 
snap. So the worms have decided to crawl out and play. <gasps> Who's there? Yeah, <laughs> those fools. I am Ruxel's card. Thou art greatest enemy adversary. Thou may have lost that past thou's otherest conundrums, but thou were created by utter weaklings. Now prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thou's life. Toil worms. God. Dang it. <laughs> so it was a club sandwich. bathroom royal flush currently occupied <laughs> elevator to the top floor currently stuck at the top floor until someone rides it down worms that wasn't really my pu ultimate puzzle i have a waste better one right here uh, uh, 
Can we see it? No. All right, then. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, Ty, thank you. <laughs> hey, it is a party in here. I'm the first party member. I'm in charge of the DPS, the Dancing Party Soundtrack. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet, which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat so many, you choke. They eat sports? We can all play Twister. Just stay out of our way. We lose even by ourselves. Kathy is the second party member. It's the healer. She was in charge of catering the party. Unfortunately, the cake she commissioned was destroyed in a field somewhere. Didn't we, like, get that back, though? It's a boombox. It's playing club music. A giant baseball for parties. I kind of want to go back and see if there's anything else that I could um, pick up. Dodging like a boss. Always save. Hello? A bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. I'm guessing this is Lancer's Splat noises. I guess that's the way back down. Welcome to my shop, you ungrateful worms. Ah, what is thine interest? I am the Duke of Puzzles, Rulix Carr. I can never really figure out how to pronounce his first name. Rulix Carr. My hobbies include his calligraphy, law keeping, bug keeping, cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Why dost thou one of my admirers, worm? Ha! So I might amass of funds, worms, an army of funds, so that I may crush us thou like fermented grapes into the most delicious and adult beverage. Vengeance! <laughs> oh, how I amuse myself. Our Lord King art a cruel and terrifying monarch. However, he is also brilliant, for he decided... <laughs> for he decided as death to appoint... <laughs> to appoint me as Duke of Puzzles, after pretty much if everyone else was fired a start placed inside the cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. His son, on the other hand, 
is the most tr is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always asks me the worst of queries, and calleth me his lesser dad. Our relation is none, little water beetle. I placate you for your father's sake. I do not wish us to hear your MP3s. I would rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he, anyhow? <laughs> Fragrant sauce heals 50 HP. A DT scar. Dungeon Worms. Equipment. Enough worms. Thou may have cheated through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with. Oh, hey, whatever this is. Huh? It's the enemy from earlier, but its crown looks different. Yes. With my control crown, I mayest control any disc-shaped life form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain! Looks the same! <laughs> yes, the control crown is painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel its relief when it sees how much more pain they'll be in. Here it comes, again. Susie's idea. Susie, you want to act? Oh, what's your idea? Oh, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie, I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw Rossi at it. Whoops. That was so bad. Yeah. Let's try this again. Really? Ground loosened a little. Ninety 
25% loose. Huzzah! <laughs> Hello again, Andrew! Welcome back, welcome back. Why, brilliant! Just brilliant! I knew you couldst do it, thou great heroes thou. Thou seest that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing blocks thy path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. But you, l luck be with you, heroes. <laughs> so abrupt. We're in the throne room. Riches, they shine with avarice. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. They shine with avarice. What's up here? Wall banners, they seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Run, run, run. Oh boy, guys. Here we go. Hey, there's Lancer. Father. Lancer. My son. Have you dispatched the light news as I commanded? No, but I did even better. Turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. They're Susie, and she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Hey. It's nice to meet you. Lancer. Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> you want me to let him go? And how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the? You. You traitor! Come back here! Alright, enough already. Who the heck do you think you are? <laughs> People, I am hero to you. I'm the bad guy. King blocked the way. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. By the night's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Talk became courage. How dare you come here, Lightners? King's mouth gave a berserk smile. <laughs> Boost defense. Sweet. that left us in the shadow stripped of meaning.
tries to reason with the game. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, then so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do, huh? Susie's will is changing. Talk became Red Buster. You dare return to torment us once again? don't have to fight. I know if we try it, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Rousey's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. Nice. Be gone, we have found fresh purpose. Only fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it.
Now enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. keep fighting you like this then Shall not fail you. I finally, it's like he got tired. Enough is enough. I see, see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightners. I, perhaps I, I have been too cruel. Truth is, I was not always this way. There was once a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Hello, Durbindum. Welcome, welcome. King Cardman, yes. Perhaps, perhaps the you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There might be a peaceful solution to all this. Uh, uh, Come now, Susie. Uh, uh, I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. Uh, None of us really want to fight. Uh, you can just tell us your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes. Friends. That sounds... lovely. <coughs> My apologies. I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word! There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Dag nabbit. Never better. <laughs> you. Did I say you could get up? Ooh, go, Chris. Oh, spare me the heroics. the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? I can't speak. Can't even say. Yo. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Hey. Get away. 
from my friend. <laughs> or what? Surely you must realize how exhausted I am, Leitner. Any, of, any hit from you would kill me. Why not do it, Leitner? Kill me and show my son how much you really care. <gasps> nah. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid Leitner. I was thinking you think you have any way to convince me not to kill you. Uh, just wait a second. Wait for what? Huh? Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Why you... You little... You sweet... Little... Pumpkin. Hey, Chris. You alright? That was close, Susie. I'm surprised you remembered my pacify spell. Hey, come on. I'd never forget something I made fun of you for. Yeah, <laughs> Pumpkin. Chris. Susie. I'm... I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I... I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? Eh, it's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about, too. Everyone, you're okay! Lancer, hey! Sorry, I kind of peed up your dad. That's okay, it happens. Oh, it even looks like he's having a beauty nap. That's good, he seemed cranky. Man, you can say that again. Uh, Lancer? What's that noise? Oh, I actually came to warn you, clownlings. I informed the guys you were fighting my dad, but... Instead of eagerly volunteering to help you, everyone just caught the freakouts. Now they appear to be, um, breaking through the door to the throne room. Well, uh, that's not the best. Chris, Susie, it seems that you must hurry to the fountain. No time for goodbyes, huh? Yes, of course no goodbyes. We're bad guys, so we only have bad buys. <laughs> You've learned a lot, huh? Only from the best of the worst. Okay, I'll go stop the door. Later, dude. That's right, because um, early on in this run, um, Suzy managed to uh, to hit one person, and I wasn't quick enough to get her to stop, so... Dang, nab it. Susie? Chris, if we must say goodbye, then, um, I, I just wanted to say, I, I really enjoyed meeting you two, and, hey, can you stop mumbling into your hat for a second? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chris, Susie, I... I hope I can see you again soon. Next time I'll make you lots of yummy, cre uh, yummy cakes, alright? <laughs> She's like, oh no, he's hot. Elsie <laughs> is the goat. Um, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> Let's go, Chris. <laughs> Susie's like, oh crap, he's adorable. Here we go. Ah. Is this a fountain? I don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into 
something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Epic rock music go. I can't see anything. Hey, watch it! Huh? The unused classroom? How did we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Alfie's we couldn't find any chalk. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn all over it. It's all in our mind. It's a worn down stuffed animal. It's Sham! Door's locked. It's a light switch. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone must have gone home by now. Guess Alfie's will know better than to ask us next time, right? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, alright? Aw, Susie! <laughs> Let us explore. Door's locked. That's where we just exited from. Visit mom's classroom. You like breathing, moving fast, or with or without legs? But usually with legs, join the cross country team with Jockington and Noel. Locker, it's locked. See you. Some kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? Throne of the gods. <laughs> Kids' books. Some of them used to be yours. Wrong button, duh. Some kind of teacher food. Don't forget to feed your teachers, kids. It's a poster of several basic shapes. Circle, oval, square. Hyperdodecahedron. It's a computer. It's a desktop... Uh, it's desktop wallpaper as you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. This tutorial is written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. We're in the water fountain. It's lukewarm. The computer is turned off. Everything felt peaceful for a moment. It's a bunch of roses. Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astral Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. <laughs> I actually, um, so my personal email, uh, where you can have, like, the signature line, um, I put a quote there years ago, and I've never had the heart to change it. Um, but it was from the Digimon movie, 
uh, the the English dub, which is uh, you know, what's a few raindrops between friends, just to place how old I am for all you kids. <laughs> Ring, ring. Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Hmm? A friend. You were spending time with a friend? Chris... I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Thanks, Mom. Time to explore the town. It's the library. Ugh. Birdly. Uh, uh. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw da how to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. Same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. Teen zone, where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Gotta go to college, so Tem study. Hard! She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Ha 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 ha. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. But, but, I can't, I can't get around you, honey. You have to move. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Okay, Toby, I trust you. Serve the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. Whatever. Please remember my name. Please, I wrote a book to help you remember. My Hots Fire guy. But, but, Hots, I... Well, no, hang on. That was Heat's Flamesman, not Hots Fire guy. Lord of the Hammer. First in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. Here's a book here. You look the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. <laughs> it's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh. I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it in their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Is that like Alfie's journal? Uh-oh. Hey, punk, get out of the road! You're blocking off traffic. Oh, wait, it's just Asgore's kid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up with you. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. <sighs> wish I could shake something up. Huh? You got something to report? Help? Aw, you wanna help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, someone get to get someone to build a bank. Alfie's? Who's Alfie's? No idea who you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha, if I see Alfie's, I'll tackle them. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Oh dear. What? There's a dark world inside the school. Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. At least Chief Undyme is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, get out of my way. She's the best, huh? I feel really directed.
It's one of those sliding bee toids that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. The beads march grimly along their set path. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. I play piano? An obligatory hospital piano is shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Let's do it. Clink. Really? That's it? That's all you got to do? Hello? This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using Icy as a model. At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. He looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. <laughs> Can I play that one too? It's a regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was an originally tall one sink that was cut in half to create both of them. That is a possibility. It's a diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. <laughs> Dad, you can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Oh well, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyway, how's Dragon's Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I'm kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Oh, well. Maybe... Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here! I'm bored as heck! <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. I guess I'd better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group draw <laughs> that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's um Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his butt. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window, I'll throw something at him. <laughs> this man is my hero. <laughs> to Birdly, man, he deserves it. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh? Hello, Shogans! Welcome! Oh, hi, Chris? Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Look at it looks like Christmas came early. Alright, Chris, just give me the straight shot. Why you here? Did your mom ask you to come? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> Poor Chris. <laughs> Gets the short end of the stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so... defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus. Everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in the headlights. Remember she even used to be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to under the, hide under the bed there anyway. Anyhow, that's what the tough thing about that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me, just that in the meantime I can't be there to protect her. Just be an eye out for her, okay? There's no way you can bore me right now. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just, just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing the holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. I can go back to... I don't know. Yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. 
After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey. Now that Ezreal's off to college, think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand. Woo! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started... Yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. I got smashed into the snack table and he toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. Lol. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but... Roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? That ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. It's an angel doll. Its lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel? Noel and Des made it in youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Uh, right, you and Azzy, you tried to make one, too. But you wasted the whole time making huge wings for it. The sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? Yes. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Patient name, Rudolph Rudy Holiday. Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? Alright, you old bag. We're going out. Police station. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. The police tape is blocking the way. The tape simply reads, yeah! Typical undying fashion, yes. What's down here? Like, the church? Chris. What a pleasant surprise to see you here, and on a school day. There must be a reason you came here at such a time. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us, or even participated to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. <laughs> I mean, grape juice is pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Butler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Person, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Gerson has passed. So, what's down here? Oh. It's locked. It's Polita Bear. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Hey, short stuff. Why would you possibly talk to need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too many candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. It's a painting of the town. Yep, can't get past him anyway to go through the door, so... Diner. So for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood. It's Fugu! It's like it's for you! Fuku, sorry, Fuku. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. 
Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Gotten so big, girl. Dude, remember when we used to skip the first hour of class to come here? You were fine, but I almost had to repeat the year because of it. Those creeps were mad worth it, though. Delinquency is the best condiment. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. We're live. Nice. I'm marking. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then y'all stopped coming together. And every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate. You'd sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? On the house, hon. Aw, she gave me hot chocolate. Thank you. Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepper, <laughs> pepperonis, and more. Stop on down an Icy's Pizza. Pizza. Your number one spot for piping hot pizza pizza. Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Okay. Oh, God, somebody's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for the piping hot piece of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? You know when Azzy's coming home? I can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. Be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have ever actually happened. But, but one time Undyne made contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Ah, yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the Rogues Gallery. Blue ears, soft serve of Zeph, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushings on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries, constantly terrorizing customers with poor chance. Purple guy, man, that guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, uh, my coworkers, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's pizza is hail. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing, Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up. You go to college where Azzy is. I'll get a theater degree. Become a famous actor. And let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Good luck, man. Hey, it's Sands! Hey, look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. Name's Sands. Sands the Skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? Find me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Fortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. We just moved 
here, so I hardly know anyone. Well, I got anyone I should get to know better? <laughs> My mom? Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. I mean, sort of buy chocolate kisses. So she's gotta lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. Takes time. <laughs> Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call up whenever you feel like it. Yo! Got Sansa's number. Hey, bud. Are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm not. I'm a total stranger. I'll probably hesitate more. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Knock, knock, knock. No response, but the distant trussle of bones. Happy. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Jeez, kid. <sighs> hey, MK, what's up? Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but, uh... Be careful. Like that one time Snowy and Jockington were playing handball? She just creepily watched from the corner. Yes, child, it does hurt. <laughs> then when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could, right in the officer Undyne's car. And Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us a handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> That was really anyone's fault, MK. Ooh, you're lucky, Chris. You get to miss class with Alfie's. It's not fair. I skip class, my dad never let me hear the end of it. That's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know? Selfies. Oh, oh, Chris! Uh, Chris, you're okay! I... I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Oh, well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. It's a saucer of milk. Oh, Chris! Did you want to talk about something? Oh, are these flowers? They're from your dad. He... He always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that... He always gives me flowers. It really makes me wonder if he... If he likes... If... If he likes... The awesome comics I lent him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my butt. It's a trash can full of well kept flowers. Wee! Na 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 Chris man! There's so much to explore. <laughs> Little Chrissy! Like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug! Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> I'm not even your actual aunt. Oh my goodness. Can I talk to you about something? Actually, like anything, though, your choice. Oh my goodness. Ezreal, like what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire bunch bowl all over him. And danced inappropriately in front of your mom. Got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. 
<laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Hey, neighbor, neighbor, when's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> my girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He just got one problem. Doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> oh, boy. He's missing an arm. Can't blame your brother for leaving town. He's out there getting a big brain on the, in the school. Hope when he becomes a big shot, he'll remember us little guys down the street. Eating oranges and getting our stomachs pumped. Broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Chrissy, like, long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family is, like, so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee, and I swear it was half a cat for her. Like, get a hairnet, girl, for, like, your whole body. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now why don't you go friends on home? Hey, let's go see our dad. Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. There we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris! Oh, Dad Gore. Oh, I I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Okay, Daddy-o. Cash register. There's not much change inside. A flower. Oops. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. There are various flowers inside. Say, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Azriel comes home. We could all go to the diner, just like old times. Retreat. Doesn't that sound yummy? It's a note. It says, no rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers and start selling them. You have one month. Let's see. Yikes. Various bags of soil. It's a dirty watering can. There is some dirty fur stuck in the drain. Rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's a holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. Well, that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. Fair enough. It's a small TV. On top, there are some superhero comics. An air mattress. It's certainly not king-sized. Chris, do you want to sleep over? Use that air mattress, and I could... Uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Green flower. Protected in a container. The yellow flower. Orange flower. Technically, two. It's a golden flower. Okay, whatever. Golden flower, got it. A cyan flower. Blue. And purple. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. Over here. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered in old papers and country CDs. Hey! True. Nothing better than hanging 
at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. you do. I'm real popular. I just don't have any friends. But it's okay, you hear? Because you're here. You hear? Will you be my friend? Sure. I'm so happy. So happy I... I... I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Hippopotamus. Chris... That's you. That's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Chris, can you give me a name? That's real, too. Beauty. Wow. What a wonderful name. Feels like my self-esteem's in full bloom. Feels like my head's about to flower. Wait, what was the name? Booties? Yeah, perfect. The, the taste, the smell, the... Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Christmas? That's your name, right? I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Dear God, what have I done? <laughs> She's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Susie! That's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something, if, if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't want to about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her? If that's okay? What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious. Gosh. Maybe I should try talking to her. Uh, but if I die, you're praying for my, or you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though honestly, if she's nice, I might die too. <laughs> you're so freaking cute. <sighs> um, Chris? Are you feeling alright? You're not so talkative. Oh, I didn't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Alright, we're back home. I think once I save, I'll end the, the stream for now, because I know I went over again. Welcome home, honey. Did you have a fun with your friend today? By the way, I just ba finished baking a pie. You go to bed, will it? Uh, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time. All right? Chris? What is it, honey? Oh, Chris. Flowers? For your mother? How sweet. 
these are from him, aren't they? But, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You used to ask when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, he wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? That is kind of adorable, not gonna lie. Remember that video game you and Azriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. He loved Yoshi! <laughs> oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. I honestly can't blame him for that, actually. Chris, since you... Like, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition. As long as I get to eat some, of course. Yeah, Chris. The trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. The butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. I already read that, so... Pretty terrifying, isn't Well, sweet dreams, kids. <laughs> With that said, we are going to stop right there. Well, 
I don't know, will it let me just continue to chapter two? I think it will. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I, um, I will be back on Thursday with some more Evo Land. And I think that's pretty much it for tonight. <sighs> A surprisingly short chapter, really. I think chapter two is going to be a bit longer from what I understand, but I have absolutely no insight to chapter two other than seeing, you know, um, Spamton's designs and whatnot, but we shall see, we shall see. And with that said, I hope you guys have a lovely evening, and I will see you on Thursday. Bye!